I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to angle my tweezer, make a gentle curve this direction. And if I wanted to, I could bend the opposite way. I could move my tweezers and hold it and bend the opposite way. Or what's easiest is to put my finger here and make a bend the other way. And let's bend it this way now. The more foil, the more color I'll end up having on this piece. Because I'll only see the color where there's foil. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to start with some bluish purple enamel. I'm going to taper it down so it'll blend easily into the next color. I'm going to add some blues and then begin to change the color into teals. I'm blending some medium teal enamel into the blue. But there's going to be a lot of contrast if I bring that over the white. So I'm going to be blending some lighter color teal colors to blend up over the white and the gold areas. I like to use a lot of red in my rainbows. So I'm not worrying about proportion right now. I'm going to have more red than the other colors. The rainbow is going to go from red to dark orange to medium orange to yellow to light green to a light blue to a light blue purple. I'm going to slightly overlap my colors here and just mix the grains a little bit. I've got two oranges, so unless I want a lot of orange, I'm going to use less of each orange. So I'm just putting a little bit of that medium orange in there. Now you could be using whatever colors you want if you want to try to make a rainbow. You don't have to do it my way. You don't have to use the specific colors that I'm using. I'm just showing you what I do. And you can see there's a lot more red and orange in this rainbow than uh, the blues and purples and greens. And that's because I'm going to have a lot of purple here, I'm going to have a lot of blue here, I'm going to have a lot of green here. Take my bluish purple that I used before. And now I'm asking myself what proportion do I want there? Do I want it to be 50-50? Do I want there to be an angle this way or straight across? And I think I'm going to have more of the blue purple towards here. And now I'm going to take my reddish, it's almost like a reddish pink. And salt and pepper it into the blue purple to help it blend in together. Now a lot of these color combinations come through practice and repetition and making things that I hoped would look good but they didn't and so I tried them different ways. And over the years, I mean I've made this design for probably 20 years and it changes. Sometimes I change the purples or the teals, um, sometimes I change how I blend these colors. Um, so it's never, it has to be the same way every time. That's just not how I approach things.
and I'm taking the same colors that I used and overlapping them a little bit not worrying about whether they're in the same place as they were last time but I know that it's going to go from dark at the top to lighter at the bottom and my question now is how dark do I want that to be? Okay. 